Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I am collecting madness. There's always madness in love and we love collecting. Guys, you already know what it is. It's another unboxing of a figure from Attack of the Clones for the 20th anniversary. I've been so excited for these figures. But here we are with none other than a battle droid. Yes, I said a battle droid, but none other than a normal battle droid. This is one from Geonosis, you know, one that was actually in the battle, uh, the main part. So I had to pick this figure up. But before we dive in, I do want to say a massive shout out to all of you. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We do have a goal of 750 and we're so close. So if you feel like joining in on all the madness on this channel, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, we are diving right into this figure. You can see the battle droid up front, what looks like a normal Hot Toys box, the 20th logo that is reflective, nothing on the back, but we all know with these right now, they do look vintage. I love the box design. Now, like R2, and the clone trooper i believe they had a yellowish this guy has a blue and i'm thinking it's because of the sand look or how you know the color of them that maybe that's why they did it for this so it didn't mesh but then again they did it on the front so who knows hot toys you know they do whatever they want but enough about that you do get the reflective 20th anniversary sticker a side profile some more information right there if in case you did want to pause the video, you can. Another image of him on the front there, or the back I should say. And like always with these boxes, you do get the magnetic lift top. But enough about the box, you know what it is. We're going to get all the accessories out, get everything you know that he comes with out in here. And then take a look at the figure, because that's really what I'm excited for. Alright, so here we have all the not so much stuff that he comes with. However, if you do plan on picking up more than one, then I guess this will do because there are different looks to him depending on what you have your battle droid posing with. Now starting off with none other than C-3PO's head. Now compared to the R2 one, I don't know if it's me, I'll have to look. I feel like the weathering on this one looks a bit different and I don't know if it looks as metallic, but just like that one, you can separate this. You can turn on the switch, which does give the LED light, causing his front two eyes to glow quite a bit. I'm actually still really impressed with this one. Now, it does do one other function. You will see that there is another piece that you can attach to it. It is this piece right here, and we will look at that later on in the video for you to see what that function does. You also then do have these two pieces that will plug into your droid for when you wanna go into what's called transport mode. You do have his blaster rifle. It is nicely weathered and nicely painted. Each time I see these, each time they look wonderful. I think they look like real metallic and you can't really go much further than what you see here. So basic rifle does what it's supposed to you then have a new piece to me which is of course a pair of binoculars now these are also wonderfully detailed nicely painted looks like they've seen you know some battle in their day you can see a hint of red there like they're translucent or you would be able to see them a little green dot there so the attention to detail is great here as well as well as two holes for the droid's eyes to line up on, which funny enough, when you put them on the figure, they do. Here's an antenna that can be attached separately to the droid if you wanted to. You then, of course, get the backpack. This is very weathered, done very nicely, does a good job of being scuffed and looking metallic there. Of course, it's not, though. It is plastic. It feels very light in the hands, but I like it. And they even have the back weathered as well. They didn't really have to do that, seeing as you probably wouldn't see it all that much besides the outside. But Hot Toys always goes above and beyond of what we would like to see. And I actually am really down for it. The antennas do come out. I would be extremely careful not to break these. They could be brittle, but they go up and down for whether he's walking or, again, if you want to put him in transport mode. Now, something I wish they did do was put a magnetic here for this blaster rifle to be attached to. 
They did, however, just make it to where you could put uh, the blaster on there, like it clips into there. But I just wish it was a little bit better than seeing this method done. Now, it is translucent. I don't know if it'll yellow over time, but it is what it is. Then, again, you get a normal display base. This kind of reminds me of, instead of the metallic nameplate, like what they did for the Force Awakens series, they do it with some Star Wars figures. Not all, but this is their standard hexagonal base with the standard Star Wars font and it says Battle Droid right there. Does not say it's from Geonosis, which I kind of like because I don't like seeing the name in there, but that's my personal opinion. You do then get a little bit of texture of sand here. It's not fully sculpted. However, this piece is fully sculpted and you can see it has a cutout there to go right on the base. I personally like to kind of put it uh, a little bit on the side or sticking off just so I can see the nameplate of mine. I know it's supposed to go in the front or on the side and it kind of hides it. I don't really like that, but I do like a little bit of variety and being able to see something that they're actually standing on. So I'm just thankful we didn't get the footprint base. Now another great piece that comes with the set if you want to even call this a piece um, is the instruction manual and it's not only good to read but in the case of the 20th attack of the clones like the clone trooper and like R2 it is also good to look at because it comes with a movie type poster now you can see a bunch of characters each one that has come with one of these has been a different poster I really dig this you can really see all the battle droids on there and they just are theme centric to whatever figure you're unboxing. However, a new character we've seen is Sam. They need to do her. And here we are with the droid himself. And I will say firsthand impressions. I'm impressed with the look of him, but not the weight of him. He feels super light. I've never had a figure like this, but it's so weird because he's so light but feels sturdy at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, I was expecting, you know, maybe some die cast parts to give him some weight, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say besides that. Uh, also, quick note, I noticed this was jiggling as soon as I took him out the box. I don't really care for that either, but it is what it is. And nonetheless, let's just go over the figure. He is nicely painted and nicely weathered, very scuffed up, very battle damaged. Um... And you can definitely tell that he has been in some battles, as he should, being called the Geonosis Battle Droid. I do want everybody to be careful of these joints here. I know they have broken on some. So for this section, I'm going to be extremely careful with mine. Um, but it does go all the way out to 90, and you have to pop this open in order to do that. I wouldn't recommend trying to do that before opening that, as you could scuff your figure. But... His head does go up and down. This piece also slots into here, which we will do in a bit to show transport mode. Uh, the knee goes all the way back and locks up. It is a little bit slotted there and fits right in. You can see it there so that his knee kind of comes all the way up. And it's like a spring mechanism. It, it looks pretty good. You can see where it is a little bit. Um, but it's not that big of an eyesore where you would know like it seems to be more hidden on this one because they put grime and, and dirt there as like their paint wash but they didn't on this side so it's a bit more prominent but nonetheless still good uh, the elbows they do bend all the way his hands articulate opening and closing so you could have the blaster rifle and then goes up and down on like a ball peg and rotates here so not bad articulation for the figure you know he especially if you can get him into transport mode i think that's incredible all right guys so here we are in the back of the droid and like i said this dot and like i said this guy does have options you can take out this piece here from his back and then take his antenna and plug it right in and then you have an antenna looking figure uh, battle droid now I didn't mention in the accessories but this is metallic so again still fragile if it falls it could bend could break just be careful and if you want a different look again just take out the second one and then you can peg in his backpack and it fits nice and flush looks really good and again for uh, another look again you can raise these antennas and give them 
the antenna look, but with a backpack. And of course, adding to the backpack, you can of course, again, peg this into the backpack. And it does have a little peg here in the clear plastic for the trigger to go in. I would just be careful taking this on and off that you don't scuff the paint of your gun. And if you thought the looks were done there, no, you'd be wrong. There is in fact a fourth look, if you will be, and it has to do with this head, of course, C-3PO's head. I believe this does unpeg. I do not want to snap it, but yeah, pegs off just like that. This piece can be pushed down into the body, and then you want to take C-3PO's head. I believe this piece comes out, yep, and goes flying. You can maybe do that a little bit more gracefully than I can. This piece pegs in to C-3PO, and then now you can peg C-3PO onto the droid. <laughs> and it is a funny effect. He looks so out of proportion. It reminds me just of the film. <laughs> I don't think I'll display him like this, but it's cool that if you had multiple of this droid, you could absolutely do this. So thumbs up Hot Toys for including this in it. I absolutely love it. And again, we're still not done with what you can do with this droid, and that is going in to transport mode. First, you want to lift these up, get his arms going out. These pop out. I don't know how easy. This is my first time. Feels like I'm going to snap them because they are their own, like, piston when you do rock back and forth so trying to be careful guys it's actually hurting my fingers there it's fairly hard to do but we're gonna get it because i'm determined to get this guy into transport mode for y'all and i kind of want to do it myself too at least one time i'll be right back so i did want to show you guys that when you take this out be extremely careful no this is not broken it does come like this as the pistons it is plastic when you take this piece out after the bottom one slides out, just be careful not to tug on this too much. This looks like it could snap very, very easily, and you will be sad. So, I don't know if he will go into transport mode with this on, but if he doesn't, I don't know if you should risk it. It kind of scared me. I'm doing this just for the video. And of course, once you get those massively annoying pieces off, you can peg these pieces on to fill those holes now unfortunately you don't get to fill these holes but it may be covered up when you put them in transport mode and these are way easier to take off than the other ones next what you want to do is lower his head this again springs into the body now this piece does flex backwards so you don't run into the problem I just did and his head does fold nicely against the body you then want to pick up his legs and fold these down so he does one of these and then do the same thing on this side and fold down and he kind of tucks just like this bring the arms forward and they can wrap around the bottom of his ankles here and then do the same going backwards wrapping around the ankle and then I guess you can fold the shoulder joints down so it's not sticking out annoyingly and then of course you have to tuck his antenna down but that is the super battle droid in transport mode so what was a tall figure now kind of fits in my hand like a little ball this is weird but oddly satisfying and kind of cool well that's going to do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this one as much as i did i really enjoyed unboxing this figure however he does have some things that i'm a bit worried about such as the longevity of swapping out all these pieces as it does seem really fragile everything's thin and could break on you with that being said he is extremely tight way more tighter than I would have thought for not having ratchets so that's pretty cool um, it was hard to get them into transport mode with those pieces I probably wouldn't do it again the c3po head is a cool accessory so if you guys are thinking about this one at least you get a bunch of options if you plan on army building now 
this isn't my favorite figure in the world. However, I do need something for my Jedi to kill in my collection, so why not have a droid? It is part of the Star Wars universe, and I honestly can't go wrong. I would pick this figure up once again. I cannot recommend it enough. Even if it does have a little bit of flaws, I still enjoy the figure. I think the paint apps are beautiful, and I think Hot Toys really did a great job and provided what we saw based on the movies. With that being said, like I said, that'll do it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment down below if you plan on getting this figure yourself. But as always, take care and we'll see you in the next one.